Luo Yixiao is five years old and she has leukemia. On November 25th, her father posts this appeal on WeChat. Luo R is a writer and journalist in the southern city of Shenzhen. His daughter's treatment costs at least 10,000 yuan a day. The article goes viral and donations come pouring in, especially after Luo says financial consultancy company Xiao Tong Ren has agreed to donate one yuan for each repost and share. In four days, the post was shared over 500,000 times. People sent the company over 100,000 yuan, and Luo R raised over 2 million yuan. We raised over 2.4 million yuan in two to three hours, and we felt things were no longer the same. I thought it was over 200,000, but then I saw it was over 2 million, and I knew it was going to explode. Here's why Luo was worried. He's set to own three houses, a car, and a profitable advertising agency. Besides health insurance coverage, the family had only paid 20,000 yuan to the hospital. And the head of the company Xiao Tong Ren is said to be a close friend who did this for publicity. Internet users have responded with fury, accusing Luo of fraud. My situation is not that bad. I have a house in Shenzhen, and a car, and another house in Dongguan. Luo is now to give back over 2 million yuan in donations, and so will the company. But Luo R is not the first to profit from sympathy. Charitable crowdfunding is growing in China. According to the China Charity Alliance, China's top four online donation platforms saw 127% rise in small-scale donations. A survey by China Youth Daily showed around 47% of respondents have donated online, but only about 28% trust the platform. And up to 60% worry about the security of the processing. Luo Yixiao is still in hospital with real pain and tough moments. What Chinese hope now is the girl will recover and that her father's mistake will not stop people doing good. Gavin Blackburn, CCTV.